I'm vlogging. So, I'm not sure I'm the only one to pop here. Usually the first thing I do is sign in the logbook, writing down the date, my name, times I'm working, and my GPHC number, which is my pharmacist registration number. It's a really legal requirement to put my details out in public view when I'm the responsible pharmacist. I then check the fridge temperatures. We have three in the walk-in pharmacy and I check them all then reset them. That's not a huge delivery, but with that came control drugs and I had to enter them into the register. I really do hope the registers go online. Please, one day. The next thing I do is I log into the computer so I could check our store NHS mailbox to see if there are any alerts. Today there was just a notification about new learning platform for pharmacy learning. Today's mission was to label all the daily service users prescriptions ready for the forthcoming week as well as do the daily tasks like checking walk-in prescriptions and dealing with queries. I like to write allergies check note particularly when it comes to penicillin dispensing. At this store, there's a care home services on a different floor, so I go up some stairs to get there. We have a lot of care homes we provide service to, and some of them have a lot of residents. So the volume of prescriptions we can get can be quite overwhelming sometimes, which is why I have a pharmacy tech. For lunch, we went to McDonald's as a treat as one of the girls from work passed the driving test first time just before she came to work. I was so proud of it. Okay, now re-watching this part, I'm actually laughing at myself of how fed up I look. <laughs> I was so tired though. That day, there were patients that were really, really mean um, and I had to just deal with them. I just wanted to go home at that point. Days what well, don't move. I forgot to put the last of my puzzle box in the bag. <laughs> I'm vlogging.
fine. Um, I don't want to put some different. Um,